Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Jinx, the Loose Cannon. Jinx is a ranged marksman whose idea of a good time involves dishing out tons of damage to the dismay of Vi, the enforcer who can't quite catch her. She's such a loser, always ready to cry. Da, 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 da. Impulsive, spontaneous, Jinx spreads chaos across the battlefield in the form of bullets and bombs. Jinx's passive is get excited. Whenever Jinx scores a kill or assist on a champion or structure, she gains a massive speed boost that decays over a few seconds. But Jinx is impatient. If her target doesn't die or crumble very soon after she deals damage to it, her passive won't trigger. Get Excited provides Jinx with a useful speed boost to retreat after pushing down turrets or hunt down fleeing enemies after a kill. Jinx has two primary weapons for her basic attacks, her minigun Pow Pow and her rocket launcher Fishbones. By activating Switcheroo, she can toggle between the two. By default, Jinx uses her minigun for basic attacks, and each hit grants her an attack speed buff that can stack up to three times. When she switches to a rocket launcher, she has longer range and deals splash damage around her target, but each rocket consumes mana and she doesn't get the attack speed bonus. While using fish bones, the minigun stacks will start falling off one by one, but if she switches back before the stacks are gone, she'll still have the buff. Fish bones can also critically strike, dealing the full crit damage to all enemies hit by the splash. Despite the shorter attack range, the minigun dishes out very high DPS, making it perfect for taking out turrets and objectives. The rocket launcher's splash damage and range makes it more useful for wave clearing and harassing. Zap is a long range skill shot. Jinx is immobilized while charging her shock pistol before she shoots out a blast in target direction that zaps the first enemy it hits. Zap has high damage, a significant slow, and briefly reveals the affected target, but can be difficult to hit since enemies can see the beam before the zapper fires. With good timing, Zap is a very efficient damage spell for harassing opponents in lane. When using Flame Chompers, Jinx throws out a volley of three snare grenades that detonate after a few seconds, dealing magic damage to all enemies caught in the explosions. When an enemy champion steps on an armed chomper, it will detonate immediately and root them in place for a short duration. An enemy champion can only set off a single chomper, even if they step on more than one. Flame Chompers has no cast time, so Jinx can use them easily while on the move. They do have a short setup time though, so they won't detonate instantly if thrown directly onto an enemy champion. Flame Chompers also grant vision, so Jinx can toss them over a wall or into brush to scout for enemies. At early levels, you can toss out Flame Chompers to trade with opponents and zone them away from the minion wave. Jinx's ultimate is Super Mega Death Rocket. Jinx launches a giant rocket with global range that detonates only on contact with an enemy champion, dealing magic damage to all enemies in the area. Adding to the lethality of this spell, the rocket also gains speed and damage the farther it travels and deals bonus damage based on each enemy's missing health. Since Super Mega Death Rocket acts as an execute, it's perfect for sniping off low health targets from across the map. In lane, Jinx can reliably win trades by swapping between Pow Pow and Fish Bones, hitting with her minigun, then switching to rockets for a longer range attack. Jinx's exceptional range makes her a naturally aggressive laner. Jinx can use Zap and Rockets to damage her opponents even when they're playing safe under their turret. By standing just to the side of the minion wave, Jinx can keep lining up opportunities for Zap to land, while using her rocket launcher to follow up for additional damage. With the repeated assault, she forces both Caitlyn and Leona out of the lane, increasing her golden experience advantage. When retreating from a fight, always look to keep poking enemies at a distance. Here, Jinx tosses out some flame choppers to immobilize Nautilus and Leona, then uses Zap at a safe distance as her ally runs down to join the fight. Though Jinx is quite far away, she doesn't give up. More importantly, she knows that she can get in range to land another zap once Karma arrives. After taking Caitlyn out, Jinx is able to speed back into the action by getting excited. Jinx is especially deadly when close to a low health turret. The enemy Lux and Ezreal underestimate her killing power here as they hug their turret hoping to fend off her attack. Just as the turret drops, Jinx gets excited, speeding in to mop up the kills. Fizz arrives late to counter gank because the two new kills reset her passive. Unlucky for the fish, she uses her flame charmers to snare him and turn the fight around. For Jinx, helping pick off one enemy at a time is key for winning teamfights. 
By singling out Maokai with Flame Chompers, Jinx grabs an assist, gets excited, and speeds after Nami to snare her for another team kill. Getting excited again, she continues her pursuit, lands a zap on Tristana for yet another assist, and speeds straight into the enemy's base on the offensive. With Jinx's range, diving for a kill doesn't necessarily mean endangering herself. Using the long range of Zap and Super Mega Death Rocket, she chases Ezreal into his base and promptly makes her speedy escape. Despite being risky to use, Jinx's minigun gives her surprising dueling potential at close range. When caught out split pushing a turret alone, Jinx uses Flame Chompers to snare Elise and finishes gunning down the turret to speed away. After trying to zap the Spider Queen in escape, Jinx is unable to get away cleanly and is forced to fight or die. This is where Pow Pow comes in handy, as Jinx is able to attack so quickly that she can kite effectively. Using her ultimate to execute once Elise is low on health, Jinx is able to turn the fight in her favor. While Jinx has great close-up damage, she's far too fragile to charge into a big team fight with her minigun. Keeping her distance in this Baron fight, she instead uses Flame Choppers and her rockets, critically striking a cluster of enemies with several hits. The splash radius of the rockets and the additional range allow her to stay at a safe distance and pick up a triple kill. Jinx lacks mobility at the beginning of teamfights, but she makes up for it with utility and high damage. Tossing out flame choppers to escape and land her zap, Jinx uses Super Mega Death Rocket to burst down all three of her opponents as they group together. Using the speed boost from Get Excited, she's able to pick off Elise and speed away to land zap for a double kill. Jinx is the quintessential glass cannon, so focus your build around attack damage, critical strike, and movement speed. Building an Infinity Edge in combination with a Phantom Dancer or Static Shiv will give you the movement speed you need to continually outposition opponents while racking up huge crits from the splash damage on Fish Bones. For runes, try attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist glyphs, and lifesteal quintessences. For masteries, try 2190, taking physical damage, attack speed, and crit in offense, along with additional health and armor in defense. For summoner spells, try Flash with Barrier or Cleanse. Both choices will help Jinx reposition and survive tough fights. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Jinx Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.